Cubert was one of my favorite games growing up. And he gets killed by these little snakes, and then he like swears. <laughs> he goes, swears. Wah, wah. And there's like the little uh, asterisks for what we he know saying. what he says. Yeah. I spent a good portion of skipping preparatory academy, <laughs> going downtown and bumming a quarter from people just walking around the arcade all day long. It was Dotto's idea to make this blue floor, so this place was not like kosher for putting this floor. <laughs> but we had determination and ignorance, and we made it happen. Hey everybody, welcome. Hey. Hey. Hi. Welcome. Welcome to the show. This is a show about, uh, it's about cups. And I just did that because I couldn't remember, but I knew what the show was about. It's about making mistakes. It's about having a big idea and Want to do something really great, uh, write the great American novel, start a coffee shop, start an arcade. That's one thing we'll be talking about tonight. But then once you start doing it, you find out that uh, it wasn't what it was cracked up to be. Uh, you find out that uh, you don't know what you're doing. And that's what we're going to talk about. Because in the end, after that, you learn and you're able to start something really amazing. And uh, that's the way it works for everybody. Tonight, we're gonna to be talking to Jason from Waterland Arcade. And I'm super excited about it because I grew up in arcades. I hope you enjoy the show. I know I'm gonna enjoy the show talking about Ms. Pac-Man and Galaga and Gauntlet, hopefully, and we'll see. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I am here with Jason from Waterfront Arcade. Waterland. Take Waterland. Two. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to the show. I'm here with Jason from Waterland Ca Arcade. Why can't I say Waterland? Tell us a little bit about the arcade. Like, yes. Let's just get right into like the only thing I care about is okay. playing arcade, arcade video games. Yeah. And I will say it's an arcade and bar, but it's all ages all the time. Even better. So, yeah. Oh, you yeah. serve all ages? Bring, well, we it's, it's a strict policy. The... We actually only serve <laughs> to the adults, but <laughs> but we have an area for the adults to drink beer. So, yeah, 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 yeah. What, that's awesome. The idea for it for me was a place where you and your wife could come in, have a beer while your kids go and play games. Oh, and okay. then you go play games too. Oh, okay. So, it's like a family friendly for everybody type of environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why did you uh, why the name? The name, that's the name of the neighborhood. And I bought it from a previous owner who had a previous incarnation of this arcade. Yeah. So it was really just open for private parties. It wasn't open to the public as like a wow. regular arcade. Same name before? Too? Same name, Waterland Arcade. And he owned a few other restaurants at the time, so he didn't have time to keep this one open. So, yeah. Um, around that same time, I had built an arcade machine with my kids at home, and we started getting really into these like old 80s games. Oh, wow. So like with the, the ROMs and the... Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, was it like a Linux-based yeah, platform? Uh, yeah, Raspberry Pi. Right? That's right. Or Raspberry Pi, and yeah. then you put it all together. That's right. You built a whole cabinet, cabinet with buttons and joysticks no and everything. Way. Yeah. Street Fighter 2 was like the first game we were playing that day. <laughs> like that day, as soon as we had it built, we were playing Street Fighter 2. Is that one of your favorite games? Actually, it's funny up? you say that because Qbert was one of my favorite games growing up. And I'm it's about to build swearing. a Qbert in yeah. my arcade right now. And Qbert is our mascot. And my email address is Qbert at waterlandarcade.com. No so he's funny because he's, 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 it was 1982, I think, when that came out, or 81. Yeah. And he gets killed by these little snakes. And then he like swears. <laughs> he goes, swears. Wah, wah. And there's like the little uh, asterisks for what we he's saying. We know what he says. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we built an arcade machine, and that's when I started thinking, oh, I'm going to look for another arcade project to do. Yeah. And then this arcade was selling their arcade machines because they closed. They weren't even open. Oh. And so yeah. then I thought, what if I just opened the arcade up and <laughs> just built it into like this really great destination? What, 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 were, you doing? what were you doing before that? I have a full-time job, too. Oh, you do? I had a day job, too. So do you this still have a full-time job? Yeah. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. So now you have an arcade yeah. and a day job yeah. set up. How would you take the leap, though? Like, in your yeah. mind, yeah. you're doing this, you got a good job. Still that moment, for some reason, like, where you're there, you see the cabinets, you see everything, I and know. you're like, and then you go home, and right. you tell it, like, hey, sweetie, um, we're going to open an arcade. Like, yeah, that what happened. was your thought process, like, yeah. when, that's to, when that came up? You were just... So, I mean, that definitely did happen. Like, hey, Katie, my wife, like, 
<laughs> said, what if I bought this place and let's open an arcade? And she said that we're too busy right now. We have we have four kids at home. Yeah. Like, I ended up writing a business plan, this like six page thing that was like pretty good. And yeah. I think the part she, she liked is I emphasized that I won't have to be the only employee there. Yeah. I'll start out from the beginning with employees that can actually run the place day to day. So I don't have to be there like yeah. 24 hours a day, right? I mean, it's a creative endeavor. I'm building a yeah. place, right? Yeah, for yeah. people to come and have fun at. So yeah. that's, no, up, I, that's right up my alley. Jack, did you play video games growing up? I spent a good portion of skipping preparatory academy. <laughs> it's in private school. Going downtown and bumming a quarter from people just walking around the arcade all day long. Hey, you got a quarter? Hey, you got a quarter? <laughs> Bet you I could beat you in Pac-Man. Yeah. My high score would be higher than yours. You wanna play Tetris? <laughs> That's awesome, the Tetris. competitive nature Street of it. Fighter when you had the rollerball. Pac-Man. Do you have do you have a Street Fighter at your arcade? I do. I have an yeah. original Street Fighter too at the arcade. Yeah. No way. Just got one like a month and a half ago. That's got to be exciting. That was one of the you know I have a list. So going in, I was like, even when I j first moved into the place and yeah. just renovated the whole the whole place from like the floor up. Yeah. It was what's my list? What games <laughs> do I want to get? And that's where a lot of mistakes were made early on. <laughs> yeah. Because you know you get passionate about this. This yeah. is like a, the big mistake that you know people who launch a business make. It's like. How much of it's passion? How much of it's good business? Did you have to be right? good business? Sense. Yeah, so you yeah. got to make that. Because obviously you're passionate about the games themselves. Yeah. Wait, did you like? Did you get a game that you should not have gotten? Oh yeah. So my approach to this place was let's do the classic arcades, right? Let's yeah. let's get the the games that represent that whole '80s arcade culture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the games are like Defender, Donkey Kong, Centipede, Pac-Man, Mrs. Pa Miss Pac-Man. I didn't Pac get a real like a. I can kill it at Miss Pac-Man. Pac um, yeah. Robotron was another one that I really like, oh, super yeah, yeah, excited yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to play that today. Like if I had a yeah. hard day, like I want to play Robotron, I feel yeah. great afterwards, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just this frenetic, fast paced like game. Um, so these games cost money, all of them. So I made this list and I try to shop and I try to find good deals, but they're just, it's capital outlay. So yeah. right at the beginning, I'm spending capital on games. I mean, I had to fill the place with games. Right. There wasn't very many. Well, you need to get and a some, bunch of them were broken. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I had yeah. to get rid of some broken ones or fix them and then add all my own games to the place, right? Yeah. So these are the ones I was like most excited about, right? Today, we have 50 games now. Okay. And the bottom five earners and played are these games. No way. Yeah, they're the bottom five. I think you need to set them up big, like, big a, like, like, like in a throne room of some kind. I don't right? want to get like, rid of them also. I know, I wouldn't want to get Because they kind of like, give it like this, this like classic arcade like you know, credibility, I guess. I love those games, but, um, man. I still love those games. It's so fun for me when I see some kid come in and play yeah. it for the first time, right? Yeah. And like really like it and really yeah. try to play it. So like that's kind of what I'm trying to do with the place is yeah. to, to like share this culture with, with people. Yeah. Um, so that's fun for me, even if they don't make me any money. Yeah. So I think, hey Jack, are we close on drinks? We are on it, right? We're now. on it. Tell us what we're drinking before we drink it. Tonight I got a fantastic drink for you called Play If You Want To. We're gonna start off with an ounce of uh, Hennessy, a half ounce of Caribbean rum, Zaya, a half ounce of our Laird's Bottled in Bond, apple brandy, and a quarter ounce each of Amaro Maletti and green chartreuse. Two dashes of orange bitters, And this is a non-dilute cocktail, so we're actually going to chill this cocktail through our freezer. I've got a uh, defunct bottle of uh, Ordinoco rum from Brazil, one of my personal favorites. I like to aerate a little bit. And then we'll pop that in for a chill. All righty, and now that that's chilled, take our cocktail and uh, measure out our proper portions here. And we take our pre-chilled glassware and our pre-chilled cocktail and combine. We have cinnamon aromatics for our uh, nose and palate. You taste with your nose and your eyes before you do with your mouth. You can smell it, right? Like you know, something I'm a, burning? I'm a, I mean, I'm, 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 a, bit, that, I'm yeah. a bit of a nerd, bit of a geek myself, so I was like, man, I'm looking for all this memorabilia. Been looking for stuff for years, but instead we went in the opposite direction. Extremely serious. The drink is called Play If You Wanna. Mm. <laughs> this is above average. Thank you. Oh, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Is. Thank you, Jack. All right. Uh, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. No, it's Drovia. Here we go. Very nice. 
It's chilled with pinballs. So oh, really oh I see that. Is that what that is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are those pinballs? Yeah. <laughs> chilled with pinballs. He got them really cold, and now they're providing the ice. Talk me through a little bit what you did. Um, so you got these early games, yeah. Um, and now they, they don't. <laughs> that makes me. It breaks my heart. Really plays. That's how I feel. Like I'd be like, don't even put money in them. I'll make these for free just that's so right. you get. Yeah. That's what people want to come here. They want to have a good time. They want to rock with family. Yeah. They want to play competitive games. So my top games are, the like shoot basket the basketball shoot game, oh, pop a shot, yeah, yeah, and yeah. air hockey. Those are like number one and two. I have a skee ball. Those are like number three. So these um, are even throwback before. Yeah. Like those are games that like they have nothing to do with sort of like with the video, video game or yeah, in fact, ski ball, in right? In my top ten, there's one video game. What's in the, my top ten. What's the video game? It's House of the Houses House of the Dead Two. House of the Dead Two yeah. is in your top ten. Yeah, you 10. shoot those yeah, zombie killing game. Well, I don't you know what it is? What <laughs> it's like shoot Jags over there like House of the Dead shoot them all. Two. Right. It's an awesome yeah. game. Really? By the way, that was one of the first games I bought, so that was a winner. Yeah, but, House um, of the Dead 2 that is one is one hugely popular. It's a super fun game. And so I, did, I have gotten a lot of four-player arcade games since. Yeah. So Gauntlet Dark Legacy is a really great four-player game. Yeah, let's game. talk about Gauntlet. That's Gauntlet. Amazing. Yeah, you, 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 uh, yeah. no, we Baby's don't need to talk about ready? it. I just got really excited yeah, when you said Gauntlet. Baby's also. Nobody oh. plays it. Nobody plays Gauntlet. Nobody plays Gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> this show needs to change things. Whoever's watching. We got to make a play Gauntlet. <laughs> what did you do after you got those those games? Did you continue to invest in it? What did you find you had to invest in right. in order to be successful? Because there's a lot more, like, there's real estate involved. There are taxes involved. Yeah. There's financing it involved. Yeah. Um, Marketing. Like, mark, yeah. One of the costs I didn't think about when I did my little six-pager was yeah. um, when I planned my revenue and I planned my expenses, what they would be to see if this thing would even pencil out, yeah. my uh, costs were off. There's a lot of costs that I didn't think about. One of them was advertising costs. I thought, oh, I'll do some AdWords, I'll do some Facebook promotion, maybe a couple hundred bucks a month. You work in tech. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the hand, same Very way. hand wavy yeah, with yeah, that yeah, part, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, it's a lot more money than that. Yeah. And, I, and I print ads. My, mar, my, mar, my audience really is families and yeah. moms and dads and people who maybe get certain parent magazines and that are local, you know, like oh, local. Wow. Yeah, local yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in some of those and, the, and print ads is different. And then there's... Um, of course, Facebook promotion, but you want to promote. Oh, here's the big thing I learned. So if you post something on Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram, not all your followers see it. Like only a few of them see it. You no, know I what know. I mean? Like you have so, to pay. Yeah, so you have yeah, to yeah. pay. And I, and I and I I mean I anecdotally knew that, but you don't know it for reals until you're like, okay, no, I'm no. I'm posting three, four a day. Yeah. And I'm only hitting a hundred, two hundred people. Yeah. I want to be hitting the thousands of people that will want to come to my place yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah. That costs like five hundred dollars a month plus. Like so, absolutely, so people join our thing all the time, and so they have an ability to see what we post. But yeah. I have to pay for that. So <laughs> I didn't think of that. That's a little bit more money than I thought. Um, accounting, you mentioned taxes, all higher than I thought. It all those things. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you're launching a business, one thing I, I've learned early, you got to be willing to call call your baby ugly. You know, you got to yeah. be willing to be like, you know what, I got to own this. I. I, I wanted to buy Defender. No way. <laughs> I was willing to yeah. pay $800 for Defender. Yeah. And judging by how it's doing, it'll take 180 years <laughs> to get that $800 out of, you know, from 25 cents a play, right? But still your baby. It's my baby. It's still your, like, like, you're I'm the one okay. that got it, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm okay with that, and I'm going to keep it. And you got to just own it and be okay with that. But you got to pivot early and decide, okay, how do I pivot? Like, how do I bring How am I going to make up the money? Bring in game. Yeah, we'll make up the money through other offerings, expand what Arcade does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what have you figured out to sort of differentiate yourself in that, in that space? So I think a, bit, a, bit, a lot of it's my personality and what I'm hoping to bring to the place, yeah. but it's the vibe. Yeah. That and the people I've chosen to work there. Yeah. They bring this vibe that is the most welcoming, inclusive, yeah. love-filled, place are we showing love to everyone who comes in do yeah. we make it a party atmosphere a place people want to like come have a good time yeah so I think that those things they're just really big on yeah. that and the music that's the other thing we have that's better than any other arcade is yeah. our, our music what, is insane like what's, the, what's like, the music we do live DJ nights every Thursday night live so, DJ nights yeah we have DJs from like Seattle who would play Seattle clubs on the weekend they come to our place on Thursday nights and play for fun it's how like, do you how do you find like the DJs to come into this sort of place mm -hmm. you um, so my employees are friends, they're, they're DJs themselves first, okay, okay, and okay. so they bring in like their, their network of friends and yeah. people who are DJs. So, yeah. And I'll take a minute right now to shout out to Dotto. Today will be his last day. We're having a big party for him tonight. 
and uh, I'm gonna miss him so much. He's employee number one. He helped me build this place from scratch. Wait, today's and his last day? Yeah, yeah, like tonight, I'll be partying with him. Did you put a lot of trust into your yeah. employees to be able to take it whatever Complete direction trust. it's going that's to right. go, yeah. yeah. And make that happen, um, yeah. and that's a, that's a big deal. I think any, any good uh, creative or somebody that starts something, that's, they recognize that really, really quickly. Yeah. Like that's the that's the thing that makes any of those things. It's, it better. gets easier when you make yeah. some ugly babies. Yeah, I well, I think you know, when you realize that your some of your decisions are bad, you're way more willing to trust other people's decisions. That's true. So uh, they're not all they the, not all their decisions are great though. Yeah. So uh, it was Dotto's idea to make this blue floor. All right, this floor, by the way, it does look pretty cool. <laughs> wait, wait a second. But it was a nightmare. <laughs> like when he first pitched it to me, I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. How are you going to do it? And we're like, oh, there's this expensive epoxy that you put on the, the, the your concrete. So we ripped up all the carpet to the concrete. Yeah. And then you had to, like, prepare the concrete to take it. Yeah. And there'll be some pictures I, 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 have <laughs> that I, can, I can share with your fans. Prepare the con concrete we to take it. We can pretend like we cut to picture right now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We had this, like, solvents, and, and we, these solvents are very expensive. And yeah. we went through, like, 30 cans of them. And then we were sc scraping till 2 and 3 in the morning for, like, three weeks. So this place was not, like, kosher for putting this floor on. <laughs> but we had determination and ignorance, and we made it happen. <laughs> you love it just a little bit more because you killed brain no, I cells. I hate it more. Like, oh, you hate it oh, more? Oh, like, Every time you look at We're it, gonna you, cut to another you spit picture. on the floor. Yeah. Cut to my picture. Okay, that picture. <laughs> By the way, I hope they should. don't cut to any pictures. <laughs> yeah, and it just, just shows you, it just shows you going. Waiting like an idiot. We're gonna cut to a picture. <laughs> There's a picture, and it shows a scratched up blue floor. That was taken like a week later. <laughs> We've, because it turns out when you move like a 500 pound arcade machine across this floor, it just scratches it. Oh, it's so no like way. instantly, it was all scratched up. It's interesting how you've been able to take hold of opportunities really quickly. Hmm. So instead of saying, "This is just an arcade," like you hire some, uh, you hire some people in, they DJ. You're like, "Yeah, come in and DJ. Like, yeah. let's hook it up. We got good speakers. We got good setup, and be able to do something like that." And, and you mentioned that being some of just your experience in software development, taking the fail fast, iterate, yep. um, that type of stuff moving forward. Like, are there other ways that that's influenced the way that you do business? I think my team appreciates like that when they when something goes poorly, I'm I'm cool with it. Like I'm not like I don't I don't yell. I don't. Throw They're probably off shocked. Yeah, because like, I think sometimes degree, like right? something happened, they feel really bad. I'm all about like, cool. What do we learn from this, and how do we put in a yeah. mechanism to prevent it from happening again? Like, yeah. let's let's get creative on that. Yeah. Um, I have them over for dinner at my house like once a month. So what? we do these like arcade dinners, bring your families, and oh and then great, we, you're and then the once, cool boss. And then once the uh, d d food kind of dies down, we're like, all right, what problems do we have to try to solve right now? And yeah, what yeah, we have yeah. to think about solving, and it's it's a very collaborative actually atmosphere for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So super fun. We were talking about this before, and I have to bring it up because I'm really excited about it. You have karaoke in the arcade Yeah, so as well? we just did it. We just got karaoke last month, and um, it was for, uh, there were, we were doing a party where they wanted karaoke, and we were talking, me and my, me and my employees who run the place, and yeah. we're like, we should just have karaoke. Well, we had enough people <laughs> saying, why don't you do karaoke? So I can't believe that there's enough people Center. saying, why don't you do karaoke? It, it came up yeah. enough yeah. that we're like, let's just go to Guitar Center, buy some just buy all the equipment and just upgrade the whole experience, right? What do you see next? Like, do you, do, you, do you envision quitting your day job and kind of running with something like this or running with multiple ones? Or is it more yeah. just like, I mean, this is something you'll just have for a long time and it'll be something that you love on the side. Well, I love my day job too. So yeah. um, it's not necessarily yeah. that is my end goal. It's a, it's a great question. It's why I did a lot of soul searching over the summer, honestly, yeah. right? Like, the, what it comes down to is the arcade delivers on so many things that I want to do, which is make an impact on people. I love yeah. that. And so, so many people's lives have been changed from this arcade, even yeah. in this first year. Yeah. Like, I've heard, I've heard a few people say the arcade saved their life. Yeah. I've heard a couple people say it saved their marriage. But somebody said that it helped save their marriage? Marriage, Even? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, so. Just like a place to go or to reconnect or. It's a community. Like we've, like the people that come, the people that work there, 
it really is becoming like a family. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to happen from yeah. the beginning. And yeah. I think maybe that's why it's happening, because I'm yeah. trying to cultivate this like welcoming atmosphere. Yeah. This is important to me. Yeah. So this is way more important to me. It's not a business plan. It's more of like a impact plan. You yeah, know? It's yeah, like, yeah. what kind of good can we do? Yeah. And that's how everyone at the RK feels. They're like, man, we're like making a difference for people who come in. Yeah. Uh, so that's very meaningful to me. What advice would you give I, I, to anybody that's that's planning on starting their own thing. So um, usually people do that because they're super passionate about something, right? They're like, yeah. oh, I'm really good at this, right? Like, I'm great at making pies, so I'm gonna make a pie shop or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, something cool. Let's talk about pies. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So there's this great book I recommend called E Myth Revisited. A e lot of small yeah. business owners have probably read it. If they yeah. haven't, totally get this book. What it talks about is that. The myth is, oh, I'm dope at pies, so I'm going to be great at pie business. <laughs> Turns out that's not the case because business is different than pies, right? <laughs> so, um, like, maybe I love arcades, but I'm not good at, like, making arcade business. Right, right? Right, so right. that's why I learned to pivot right away, right, mm -hmm. so that I could keep the, keep coming up with creative ideas mm -hmm. to monetize the space, right? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank Dude, you for seriously, having me. like, this is amazing. Thank you for being on the show. Wonderful. I love talking about this stuff, and... and um, the advice that you give, and I think the, the approach that you've taken to the arcade is phenomenal. I really do. Thanks again. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the show. Thank you, Jason, for being here. So we got to talk about Gauntlet and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and I loved it. If, uh, if you like what you saw, then subscribe. Uh, ring the bell, do this stuff on YouTube so I can show up in front of you again, or we can show up in front of you again. And if you have your own F up, Go to fups.com. We'd love to have you on the show.